Welcome back. In the previous video, I have discussed multilayer perceptron learning in artificial neural network. In this video, I will discuss multilayer perceptron network with a simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a multilayer perceptron network with the input layer, one hidden layer, and the output layer. In this case, the input layer has four neurons. The hidden layer has two neurons. You can notice here x1, x2, x3, x4 are the input layer neurons. X5 and X6 are the hidden layer neurons and X7 is the output layer neuron in this case. X0 is a bias with respect to hidden layer neurons as well as the output layer neuron in this case. In this case, we need to train the multilayer perceptron by updating the weights as well as the biases in the network. The learning rate given to us is 0.8 in this case. And the inputs are X1, X2, X3, X4 are 1, 1, 0, 1 respectively. And the desired output, that is the target output in this case is 1, that is what is expected from this particular multilayer perceptron network. Along with this, uh, the weights are also given to us. I have represented that particular weights in this particular table. X1, X2, X3, X4 are the inputs in this case. W15, that is nothing but the weight from X1 to X5, which is equivalent to 0.3. It is given in the network. The same thing I have represented in this particular table. W16 is the weight from x1 to x6 here that is nothing but 0.1 here the same thing i have written in this case with the same note i have written all these particular initial weights theta phi is the weight from this particular bias that is uh, uh, x0 to this particular x6 x5 and theta 6 is the weight from x0 to x6 here they are 0.2 and 0.1 respectively the same thing i have written here and theta 7 is the weight from this particular bias to this x7 that is equivalent to minus 0.3 in this case. Now, given this particular thing, what we need to do is uh, we need to train the multilayer perceptron network and then we need to update this particular weights over here. In the first step of uh, multilayer perceptron uh, learning, we need to calculate the input and output of this particular input layer neurons. So, there are four input layer neurons are there. We need to calculate the input as well as the output over here. The input to this particular x1, x2, x3, x4 are already given to us. The output of this particular neurons is exactly same because we don't do any modification in this particular input layer. So the output at this particular, uh, the input layer neurons is exactly similar to this input. Input is 1101 and the output is 1101 respectively over here. So once you calculate the input and output at this uh, input layer neurons, now we need to calculate the net input and the output at hidden layer neurons as well as the output layer neurons here. So that is what I am doing in this particular table. The hidden layer neurons are x5 and x6 here and the output layer neuron is x7 in this case. So first we need to calculate the net input for x5 and then we need to calculate the output here. Now the question is how to calculate the net input. Net input is nothing but in this case you can see here I want to calculate the net input at x5 here that is nothing but we need to multiply the input and the weights over here. So input is x1 multiplied by w15 here plus x2 w25, x3 w35 and x4 w45 here. Along with this we need to add the bias and its associated weight also that is uh, x0 multiplied by theta phi here. The same thing I have written in this particular equation. That is nothing but x1 multiplied by w15 plus x2 multiplied by w25 and so on. We know the values of all these particular variables. We need to put it over here. You will be getting the net input in this case. The net input at this uh, x5 is equivalent to 0.4 here. Once you get the net input, we need to calculate the output at this particular neuron. That is O5 is equivalent to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus the net input here. So, what is the net input we have calculated? That is 0.4. So, 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus 0.4. Once you solve it, you will get 0.599 in this case. Similarly, we need to calculate the net input at uh, x6 as well as we need to calculate the output here. The net input at this particular x6 is x1 multiplied by wx16 plus x2 multiplied by w26, x3 multiplied by w36, x4 multiplied by w46 plus x0 multiplied by theta 6 here. That is what I have written in this particular equation. 
and then we need to put the values from this particular table you will get the net input at x6 is equal to 1.2 here and the associated output that is o6 is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus i6 i6 value is known to us that is 1.2 put that particular value in this equation you will get the output as 0.769 in this case Similarly, we need to calculate the net input at x7. x7 is the output layer neuron and then we need to calculate the output over here. The output uh, output layer net input is calculated here and then the output at the output layer neuron is 0.419 in this case. So, this is the output of this particular multilayer perceptron network in this case. So, once you calculate this uh, output at this uh, output layer neuron, we need to calculate the error in this particular case. The error is always equivalent to O desired that is nothing but the desired output minus the estimated output here. What is the desired output? The desired output is equivalent to 1 that is what is given in the problem definition and the estimated output that is nothing but the calculated output is 0.419 that is what we have calculated in the previous slide over here. Now once you put these particular values in this equation you will get the error at the output layer is 0.581 in this case. So, this is the error what we got after the first epoch or you can say that the first iteration in this case. Now, the question is, if you are happy with this particular error, there is no need to do anything here. You can stop the training of this particular multi-layer perceptor network and then you can deploy it in the real world. But if you are not happy with this particular error term, what we need to do is, we need to propagate this particular error backwards and then uh, we need to update the weights so that we can reduce this particular errors here. So, we have been given the weights. You need to update this particular uh, weights so that uh, you can reduce this particular error in this case. So what we do is we will try to propagate this particular error backwards and then we will try to update the weights and then we will try to see whether the error is reduced or not in the next iteration. The question comes in point of us is how can we propagate this particular error backwards? Now if you want to propagate this particular error backwards, you need to remember these two equations. The one is the error at output layer neurons and the error at this particular, uh, the hidden layer neurons here. The error at output layer neuron is always calculated with this equation, OK, that is the output at output layer neuron multiplied by 1 minus OK multiplied by O desired, that is the desired output minus OK here. And uh, hidden layer neurons uh, error can be calculated with this equation, that is OJ. OJ is the hidden layer neurons uh, output 1 minus oj multiplied by summation of k. k is nothing but what? The output layer neurons. In this case, we have only one output layer neuron. If you have multiple number of output layer neurons, we need to take the summation term over here. Multiplied by error k, that's the error at the output layer neuron, multiplied by weight jk. j is nothing but what? Hidden layer neuron. k is the output layer neuron in this case. So, with this particular equation, we will be able to calculate the error at this particular hidden layer neurons. Once you calculate this particular error, we need to update the weights over here. So, first we will try to calculate the error at each neuron in this case. The output layer neuron is X7. For this particular X7, the error is error 7 which is equal to O7 multiplied by 1 minus O7 multiplied by Yn that is the desired output minus the calculated output that is O7 here. So, O7 we have already calculated in the previous slide that is equal to uh, 0.419 that is the calculated output multiplied by 1 minus calculated output multiplied by yn that is the desired output is 1 here the calculated output is 0.419 in this case and once you solve it you will get 0.141 in this case. So, this is the error term at the output layer neuron in this case. Similarly, we will try to calculate the error at the hidden layer neurons that is x6 and x5 x6 is equal to error 6 which is equal to O6 multiplied by 1 minus O6. That is what we have written in this case. Multiplied by this summation term. In this case, we have only one output layer neuron. So, K will be only once here. This particular summation will not come into picture because if you have more than one neuron, the summation will come into picture. So, K value is what? In this case, 7 here. So, error K multiplied by W, J. J may be uh, 5 or 6. If you are calculating error at uh, X5, it will be 5. If you are calculating error at 6, it will be 6 in this case. So, W5, W6, K will be 7 in this case. So, that is what we have written in this particular equation here. That is O6 multiplied by 1 minus O6. Error 7, that is the 7 is the output layer neuron. W67, that is nothing but at 6th uh, neuron, we are calculating the error here. 
once you put all the values you will get this as the error term in this case similarly we need to calculate the error at the fifth layer uh, fifth neuron that is equal to minus 0 0.0101 in this case so we have calculated the error at the output layer neuron we have calculated the error at the hidden layer neurons in this case now once you do this particular thing we need to update the weights to update the weights we need to know the learning rate learning rate is already given to us that is equal to 0.8 as well as we need to know the equation to update the weights that is wij is equal to wij that is the old weight plus alpha that is nothing but learning rate multiplied by error at that particular neuron multiplied by the output at that particular neuron here so once you solve this particular equation you are going to get the updated weights over here I will show you few um, uh, calculations. The remaining you can do it by yourself. W15, that is we are trying to modify or update the weights at uh, W15 here. So W15 is equal to W15, that is the old weight. We know the old weight. What is the old weight over here? That is nothing but 0 0.3 here. Plus 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is nothing but what? Learning rate multiplied by error 5. That is error 5 we have already calculated in the previous slide. Multiplied by OI. I is nothing but what? That's uh, in this case, you can see here W15, that is WIJ. So I is equal to 1, so that is nothing but O1 here. So O1 is nothing but what? The output at uh, neuron 1 in this case, the output at neuron 1. The neuron 1 is what in this case? The neuron 1 is, this is X1. The output at this particular neuron is nothing but the input only. That is nothing but 1 over here. So that is what I have added in this particular case. So once you solve this particular equation, you will get the new weight in this case. Similarly, we need to calculate or update the weights at W16, that is W25263536456 and so on. So the updated weights are written in this particular table here. So once you update this particular weights, the next step is to update the bias here. To update the bias, we use this particular equation that is theta j is equal to theta j plus learning rate multiplied by error here we don't consider output here because output is always equal to one in this particular case so we don't consider output only we consider the old weight plus learning rate multiplied by the error at that particular neuron in this case so uh, o theta 5 is equal to theta 5 plus theta 5 is the old weight plus alpha that is nothing but the learning rate that is equal to 0 0.8 error 5 error 5 is already known to us we put all these particular values we will get the new bias here similarly we need to calculate theta 6 as well as theta 7 in this case so once you calculate the updated weights as well as the updated biases here now what we need to do is we need to find the or can say that uh, we need to propagate the input again from input layer neuron to output layer neuron and then we need to calculate the error over here so in the first step again we need to calculate the output at the input layer neuron the output at uh, input layer neuron is exactly similar to the input here so input is one output is one here input is one output is one here and so on so there is no need to do any calculation at the input layer neuron now we need to calculate the net input as well as the output at the hidden layer neuron as well as the output layer neuron here so that is nothing but x5 we need for x5 we need to calculate the net input as well as the output over here this equation I have written already in the previous slide. Uh, only thing is we need to put the updated values here. That is the updated weights here. So once you put this particular updated weights, we are getting I5 is equal to 0.368. The O5 is equal to 0.591 here. Similarly, we need to calculate the net input for this X6 as well as the output here. The net input for X7 as well as the output here. This output is nothing but the output of this particular multilayer perceptor network after updating the weights here. This is the final output of this particular uh, multilayer perceptron learning uh, network. So we will try to calculate the error again here. So error is equal to 1 minus 0.474. So what is the value here? 0.526 in this particular case. So this is the error what we are getting after updating the weights in this case. Now, in the previous case, so what is the error we got? In the previous case, we got the error as 0.581. Now we are getting the error as 0.526. If you calculate the difference, you will get the change in error in this case. The change is in error is 0.055. The meaning is the previous error was this much. 
the current error is this much the error is getting reduced by this particular value here the meaning is after updating the weights the error of this particular perceptron network has been reduced in this case now if you are happy with this particular error you can stop here if you are not happy again we need to modify the weights by updating the errors at each and every neuron and then uh, we need to uh, do this particular calculation again and again so in this case i have shown only two epochs if you are happy with this particular error you can stop here if you are not happy we need to repeat this particular epochs again and again over here so that you will get the minimum error at the end of the day over here so in this video we have discussed uh, what is uh, multi layer perceptron network and how can we propagate the input from input layer neuron to the output layer neurons as well as we can uh, propagate the error backward direction i hope uh, the concept of uh, multi layer perceptron network is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching